Hello guys and welcome again to a new We Talk Leader video. Let me start this video by saying that we do not have the Robomaster right now, right here. So if you just don't like people talking about things that they don't have, feel free to leave. I would do that for sure. It is in the delivery right now, so we expect it to have it in a couple, three days. So next week probably we have the video. I don't know. The first thing we want to talk, as you may know by now, DJI has announced and launched the Robomaster. It's the first robot that DJI gives us. The first thing I want to tell you here is that, as you may know, we do have normally the DJI products before the release, so we can test them and buy them or shoot with them or anything. And it is the first time that we did not have it. We did not know anything at all. And I've seen some other people, some other big channels also talking about the same that happened to them. And this is what happened. Someday someone asked me, hey, hey, did you see in a couple of days a new DJI event? Is it a new Spark? Is it something else? And I was like, oh, okay, I have no idea. Why do I have no idea? So we had to contact our sources and they said, no, it's not a drone. Just keep calm and talk to you, right? So we did not know what was happening. We saw, and you know by now that it's the RoboMaster and let's talk about this robot for a bit and what it means for DJI and what it means for us and all the questions that we do have now. The first thing and the most important is that there was no real hype and there is not real hype around it. The fact that most channels don't even have, like ourselves, the robot, makes us think a lot and we have to think a little bit about the actual political commercial situation between China and the US and you know avoiding that hype is good for everyone as you know that the Trump government has already threatened to take a look at DJI's information that if it gets delivered to some place that they don't want to. So expect the robot to be here in about three, four days and our video will be in three, four weeks because we have signed up Chibo and me for a PhD in science and technology because the robot has 46 parts and we won't be able to assemble it faster. You may know by now, of course, what the RoboMaster is, but let's take a look at what officially DJI says about the RoboMaster and it's a game-changing educational robot built to unlock the potential in every learner. Inspired by DJI's annual RoboMaster Robotics competition, the S1 provides users with an in-depth understanding of science, math, physics, programming and more through captivating gameplays, modes and intelligent features. Which means that none of this that I just mentioned I do know how to do. <laughs> The first thing and the most important, it has four to six programmable components. Kind of do it yourself so that you can, well, I, I'm talking like you, but it will probably, it is aimed towards your child or your kid that, well, we all know by now that you will be using it more than your own child, even if you buy it for him for his birthday, but you will be using it, right? It also includes six programmable AI modules and a real nice low latency HD FPV and we have seen some reviews from people and it is really, really awesome. It has no latency almost at all and this will help to fight and we'll talk about this in a second. The most important thing and probably the funniest thing, they said that is a educational robot and right, the kids now will be Scratch and Python coding which right now kids do not even know how to talk but they will be coding a robot which is Great. Now, just without joking, it is pretty awesome that kids start to learn math, physics and all that in order to program a robot and it will be really good and I think it's something good for society. It has four wheel omnidirectional movement. Look at this, look at how beautifully it moves and it levitates almost Chivo. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it has a nice intelligent sensing armor and we'll talk about this because it has multiple exciting battle modes and of course an innovative hands-on learning. And the most funny thing and probably apart from you know assembling it and building it up what people will do will be fight against each other and we've seen some fights by now and they really look awesome. It's like the robot has an armor and you have to target it with your controller or your phone and you will be able to shoot. Not only laser shooting like sound and image shooting but also some small gel bullets that you will be able to shoot right into other robots and what's the next because you know uh, people complained that DJI drones were spying in China now they have little robots that can shoot at you what will be next and the end is near. Back in the 90s kids were playing with this kind of toys they were pretty awesome I remember I had a lot of fun I also had friends back in the time and right now people and kids are doing this well there is a big difference. 
But your question will be, where does all this RoboMaster thing come? Well, remember in China and Asia, there is a big, big robotic competition called RoboMaster, which has been, you know, improving its audience over the past years massively. And kids are more involved year after year. And it's just a ring where you put your robot in, you can fight and then there's a winner and there's money involved and there's a champion and all that. Well, its popularity has grown a lot in the past years. And in words of some DJI engineers and marketing chiefs, they were saying that they expect robotics, this kind of events to be as popular as soccer, baseball or basketball. So they expect this massive growth and they want to be leading again in this kind of event. So it's probably the best, the best first step that they can do. I have to say right now that it may be very popular in China and Asia overall. I know in Japan also because it is Asia, of course. And in the US, we've seen this in The Simpsons. And of course, there are some really nice, awesome events. But in Europe, it's a complete different level because we do not have it in our culture. I have never seen anyone doing this in my life. I don't even know people that have robots. So it's an entire different market and it will be nice to see how it develops. If they can start creating the market here in Europe or if they just will focus in the US and in Asia right now, you can only buy the RoboMaster in the US and in China. If you are in Sweden, for example, you won't be able to buy it. Another very important thing, and nobody has talked about this. Remember DJI when they first launched their drones? Yeah, you could build them yourself. You could assemble them, buy parts and do all that. With this RoboMaster, DJI kind of gets to its essence, how it started, and you will be able to purchase something that is not built. And then I have my question because I, me, myself, Alex, I am not in the mood and I don't have the patience to build things. And for example, Chivo does because he, is a, he has nice hands and he always likes touching things. He's always playing with Lego and all that. And then my question to those parents right now that you're watching us, would you buy it if it would be finished or do you actually like that it is with 46 parts that you have to assemble? and build up yourself. Well, in my case, I wouldn't buy it for my kid because I don't have the patience and I'd rather give him a ball to play football. And it's been almost a year that DJI released their last drones and you know DJI has grown thanks to drones. And these two Mavic 2s were released back in August. Right now it's June, it's almost one year and since then we've seen a bunch of different products that are not drones. Osmo Bagad, Osmo Action, now this. It will be really nice to see how DJI develops in the following months because if we thought that DJI would just stick with the drones, we were mistaken. They are growing and growing and growing and taking more and new and different markets into their business plan. And not only that, we also saw in a Chinese forum, we had to translate it, that there are rumors that DJI is planning to release their new DJI fridge. And we have to say that the prototype they already have. It is of course a joke. Overall, and again, we'll have the uh, robot in a couple of days, expect in the following couple of weeks to have our review and we of course will fight against a drone and all that. All the crazy ideas, we'll do them, don't worry. Just hit the bell if you're not belled yet and sub if you're not and like the video. And again, sorry we don't have the robot right here, but I hope that you learned a little bit with this video, that it got you entertained, which is the important and nothing really else to say. Always remember to keep calm and talk to Chivo.